<coughs> hello in today's lecture we'll <coughs> hello in this session we will discuss some type expression as well as boolean expression so types have a structure in which we shall represent using type expressions so means any data types have a structure and that data type structure we have to express by using type expressions so this type expression is either having basic type or is formed by applying an operator called a type constructor to a type expression means having the two type expression first we call it a basic type like our own integer character etc or we construct by we uh, by using some by applying some operator we construct another kind of type expression here the set of basic types and constructor depends on the language to be checked which language we have to check according to that according to that we have to apply that basic types of the constructor part for example the array type integer 2 by 3 can be written as an array of two arrays of three integers each and it will be written as a type expression like a array into first bracket 2 comma array into second bracket 3 comma integers this type is represented by the this syntax tree and the operator array takes two parameters a number and a type this will be the operator array that operator array takes two parameter first is the number and the second will be the array and uh, that type expression we will discuss uh, sorry we will represent by the syntax tree <coughs> so we discuss about how we represent or how we define that type uh, expressions either basic type or we call it constructor type so basic type is a type expression and typically basic types for a language include boolean character integer float and while later denotes the absence of values means simply we define the basic type is nothing but to use basic data types like a character integer float and etc a type name is also type expressions thirdly we call the type expression can be formed by applying the array type constructor to a number and a type expression already we discussed that also we use this to define type expression as a record is a data structure with name the fields means we have to use a table and etc as part in that also so fifth is nothing but a type expression can be formed by using type constructor by the symbol forward arrow for function types we write this means yes forward arrow t for function from type s to type t means we use a uh, function for the type expression also so f and s sorry f if s and t are a type expression then their partition product like s cross t sorry for here missing cross is a type expression also means we define the type expression by various ways first of all we define the type expression by basic type secondly we call q we also use this type name as a type expression then thirdly we call q type expression can be formed by applying the array type constructor and we already we discussed that Thirdly, record as a data structure with a name difference like table and etc. as part of record field, stack use and etc. Then a type expression can be formed by using constructor, means by using the function also. And last we call it if, if S and T are any type of type expression, then Cartesian product of these two type expressions will also our type expression. So this is our definition of the type of expressions. So how we declare the types now then? So <coughs> we shall study types and declaration using a simplified grammar that declares just one name at a time. So this is the grammar here. So the left part is non-terminal part and the right part is consists terminal plus non-terminal part combinations. So this is non-terminal capital D generate a sequence of declarations. So this is our T is our uh, sorry D is our starting symbol. So non-terminal T plus non-terminal T generates basic arrays of record types. And this T produces basic uh, type declare, type declare, type uh, declare, type expression. Sorry. So non-terminal B generates one of the basic types integer and float. So this T produces basic uh, type. In that the T B also produces. So the B B is nothing but it produces basic type integer of what we call it. <coughs> as well as non-terminal C. This for the component generate strings of zeros or more integers, each integer surrounded by brackets. And the C is nothing but one kind of component, and that component produces either zero, zero means epsilon, or we call it num. Num is nothing but the uh, integers 
characters sorry strings and zeros are more integers or we call it the cc's with readily component here so an array type consists of basic type specified by b followed by array component specified by not and c as well as we have to have a record and record we uh, delimited using this curly brackets here is a sequence of declaration for the fields of the record all surrounded by curly brackets here means by using this grammar we declare the type data type either basic types or we call it a type constructor also so so d is our starting symbol d is produces this t t is nothing but it is the basic we call it is or we call t is repetitively called as a d d is nothing but type declaration or epsilon means none so this t also produces basic kind of basic kind of b is for the basic and c is for the component or it also produces records so this b is basic either integer or float and c is nothing but the component it consists zero or more integers and that's surrounded by brackets so this is the type declaration first we discuss the type expression second is we discuss about how we declare the type set now translation of the expressions so for the translation of the expressions we type expressions we have to use our statement statement so for that also we have to take support of the syntax value definition as well as we have to take uh, support of the three address code so the syntax value definition in figure means this is our figure or we call it table builds up the three address code means it builds three address code if you are one of the three address code right side part consists of at least one operator it is the main uh, basic writer for the three address code for an assignment statement s <coughs> using attribute code for s and attributes adr and code for an expression e attributes s colon code and e colon code denote the three address code for s and e respectively means s colon code and s uh, e colon code is the three address code for s attribute value and e attribute value respectively so this is our production and this is our the semantic rules so how it is possible consider the last production means our last production is likewise means s produces id or sorry e produces id in the syntax id definition in this figure when an expression is a single identifier say x means single identifier x then x itself hold the value of expression in single value it stores so the semantic rule for this production defines e dot address means the semantic rule for this simple identifier is likewise e dot address is equals to top dot gate id from the lexem lexem the top the lexem analyzer so the semantic rule for the production define edr to point a symbol table entry means it uh, it uh, pointed to the symbol table entry this top is nothing but uh, we call it the pointer and that pointer uh, points to the top of the symbol table function top dot get retrieves the increment is applied to the string representation id dot lexem of this instance id and e dot code is the set of the empty string so empty string is there we have to just retrieve that from when e produces e1 the translation is the same as that of sub sub expression e1 means e dot address equals to e1 dot address likewise so likewise we have solved translate the plus and the unary operator plus and minus unary operator by using the semantic rule and this productions so for the translation of expression we have simply the definition as well as the address code format along with attributes values here so now question is just how we uh, translate the boolean expressions so let me discuss about what is the boolean expression we will plan our our that what is the boolean expression So Boolean expressions are composed of the Boolean operators. Simple Boolean expression we compose by using Boolean operators. Which are the Boolean operators? Which we denote Boolean operators like uh, double and double vertical bar, as well as uh, exclamation mark, as well as we use operators like and or and not. So these are the Boolean operators. Some Boolean operators are involved in our Boolean expressions. so the boolean expressions are composed of the boolean operators applied to elements that are boolean variables or relational expressions <coughs> so relational expressions 
star of the form e1 related to e2. So by using that Boolean expressions, we construct the relational expressions. And that relational expressions form consist e1 relation to e2, where e1 and e2 are arithmetic expressions. We consider Boolean expression generated by the following grammar means by using or by followed by the given grammar, we construct a number of relational expressions. So which these Boolean expressions? So the B is nothing but our starting symbol in our Boolean expression grammar. That will be produced B or B. So this vertical bar represents here. It also produces B double and B. It also produces not B. It also produces in round parenthesis B. As well as it produces a relational expression E related to E. And the last part is nothing but uh, we call it the terminal part here. And that the terminal part is Boolean expressions where these are either true or false. We use the attribute relation dot sorry relate dot of to indicate which of the six comparison operators. So as well as we have to take support of the comparison of operator here. Likewise, this greater than greater than uh, sorry small smaller than smaller than equal to equal to not equal to greater than or greater than equal to is represented by relations. For the same purpose of the relation in that uh, expressions, we would use also relation operators. So given the expression b1 or b2, if we determine that b1 is a true, obvious, then we can conclude that the entire expression is true. Yes, without having to evaluate the b2 means b1 is a true and b2 is false, then the relation operator uh, or is it? So when this false, if both these are false, means b1 as well as b2 have having a true a logical value as a false, then and then the expression evaluates as uh, false. If b1 is a true and b2 is a false, then it is also true. If b1 is a false and b2 is a true, then it is also true here. So then we conclude that the entire expression is true without having to even be used. If one of the value is a true, then having the value is a true. Similarly, if b1 and b2, if b1 is a false, then the entire expression is a false. Means ending, we require both having values as a true. One of them is false, they put false. So it is nothing but the translation for the Boolean expressions. Thank you.